2011, we were ETF, Education Tax Fund, then Education Trust Fund, then 2011, we became Tech Fund. We became what we are or who we are because at that time, our tertiary institutions were described as glorified secondary schools. ASU went on strike, and the IBB had to call everybody to a round table, and he challenged ASU to create a solution. He set up longer commission, and the outcome was the establishment of education tax for the purpose of, you know, uh, intervening in the system. And so ETF started as an omnibus interventionist agency. We were intervening in primary schools, secondary schools, you know, uh, colleges of agriculture, college of Islamic and legal studies, college of dental technology, every institution that had the word college before it was our beneficiary. Universities, polytechnics, college of education. We were also intervening in college of land resources management. And so the impact was thinly spread. Imagine where one intervention is five million naira in a primary school. At that time, we struggled to see how much value we could squeeze out of five million. I was part of the team that developed prototypes for, as guidance for the state suburbs to adopt for classroom desks, for classroom sizes, and the minimum number of classrooms we could accommodate in a block, you know, for five million naira. We struggled with that up until 2011, when the stakeholders saw that we needed to focus more. And that focus was now directed at tertiary education. And if you look at the act, are we there now? Yes. I want you to look at Section 3, because Section 1 first established the tax, Section 2 established who to collect the money and where to pay it into, then Section 3 established the fund as a corporate body with the primary purpose of, please read it out for me. The fund is hereby established for the restoration and consolidation of Tari in Nigeria. Please, are we together? Yes. Rehabilitation, restoration, and what? Consolidation. Very good. That is our job. <clears throat> Anything outside this section three? does not concern that form. Did you hear, did you read establishment here? Yeah? Is there anything about establishment? Is there anything about management? Is there anything about running the institution? Uh -huh. So let us set the stage to understand our responsibility as an agency. Why I'm dwelling some time on this is that in the previous se 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 sessions, we've had, and indeed in most of our interactive sessions, we hear comments that third fund should do this, third fund should do that. And so it's important that we focus on the primary purpose so that we narrow and you know, know what our responsibilities are. Now, moving forward. Let's go to that. The mandate is further detailed in section seven of the same act. If you scroll down, you see section seven. 
That is what we call the mandate of the fund. In fact, the, in, in that section not only says what we should do, it also identifies who should be the beneficiaries as public universities, public polytechnics, and public colleges of education owned by the federal government, state government, and if perhaps any local government owns such an institution, it's also public because the constitution recognizes these three arms of public governance in Nigeria. It further goes ahead to say the ratio of distribution of these funds. Next slide. That universities will take two parts, all public universities will take two parts, all public polytechnics will take one part, and all college for education will take one part. When we gather all, it makes the whole. Next, please. Next slide, please. Okay, now, having understood what our work is, and how we are expected to do it. The foundation board engaged all the then stakeholders and they looked into the future and crafted our next strategy document, which is the vision and mission statement. The primary strategy document is what? The act, the law establishing the institution. That's the apex strategy document. Without that, you have no direction. Without that, you don't even know what you're supposed to do. Now, the second level is the vision and the mission document, which paints the picture of how you ought to begin attempting the functions stated in the law. In the previous uh, session, I gave an example with Honda Motor Corporation. You choose that kind of vision. Our visioners felt that we must rise above our circumstances. We must not look at a local problem with our narrow local eyes. We must endeavor to seek to be more than what we are now. And how best do we do it? By looking outside there and finding out how others have achieved greater heights and made faster progress. And so, that's our vision. In order to achieve the rehabilitation mantra, the restoration work, and the consolidation. It is said that you cannot continue doing exactly the same thing and then expect different uh, results. And so, the, the mission statement was now couched in order to achieve that vision to provide focused and transformative intervention, not just to be world class. Whatever intervention we are going to give must be transformative. It must create a difference. It must create a new experience. It must give our benefiting institutions something to look forward to. Next slide. From those two objectives to provide funding for educational facilities and infrastructure development. You understand? That's it. I mean, that's it. Scroll up, please. Next one. And front. If you come to third form now, the dictionary we use does not have abandoned. It's the same dictionary you use, though. Maybe your own has abandoned. But our own, you know, they. Next. 